What's up guys, we're here. Today I'm gonna go over my settings that I'm using for Path of Exile, both for solo and group play. Let's do it. So guys, when it comes to Path of Exile settings, there's a lot of them. So we're gonna go over all of them. This isn't necessarily the best settings that you can possibly have for Path of Exile, but this is what I'm using to help optimize my game experience as well as for playing solo. And then when my teammates or clan members come in and we change things up based on what we're doing in group play. So we're gonna go over to our settings here, go into options. Now I'm just gonna break everything down and then I'm gonna give you guys some tips here at the end. So in display, display settings, you're always gonna have your GPU. Always do windowed full screen. I know some people go over windowed um, <clears throat> or just regular full screen. I like windowed, but again, you could do full screen just to uh, maximize your FPS. I alt tab a lot because I go into PoE trade and stuff. So I like window full screen, it works just fine. But in the end, you definitely wanna pick full screen for the best FPS. Of course, pick your resolution. Renderer, I'm picking Vulkan. Now there is some, um, the default DirectX 12, 11, which is fine. And then DirectX 12 is in the beta. This is okay, but I am preferring Vulkan at the moment. Um, this is something new that they're rolling out. If you guys have a strong enough PC, definitely try it. It's actually pretty cool. But as far as stability and loading times and images loading in, um, I like Vulkan or just going for the default um, uh, DirectX 11. VSync lock def default. If you don't want to change this, then you can have it off. <clears throat> VSync just, you know, has your screen tearing. We don't want that. Adaptive is very recommended. Lock means there's no tearing. Classic VSync. And then if the fame frame rate drops or it will have dropping under monitor refresh rate. Adaptive is really, really strong here. I, I go back and forth between this and lock depending on my internet speeds. And like today, there's a storm, so I may change this. Buffering, get rid of it. Uh, foreground FPS cap. Um, you don't necessarily need this with um, anything right now, but you've, if you disable VSync, then you can just do that. Um, background FPS cap 30. This, you know, when you're alt tabbing stuff like that. <clears throat> now, default settings, just like most of the games that I play, everything is either low, off, or disabled, right? So we have everything low. All this stuff is low. I'll just scroll through this for you guys. Okay, advanced settings, all this stuff is low, okay? Now, if we go to the game. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me um in the game settings we want predictive now you're going to be able to change this outside the game but networking mode this is just the most stable that i have so make sure to go with that item filters i have one by never sync shout out to never sync go check his um uh item loot filter more on a loot filter later that'll be coming in another video um so you can hide filtered items on the ground items on the ground whose labels have been hidden by your loot filter will be invisible to the world this is exactly what you want uh, key pickup disabled. This is if you want to use a key and it'll automatically pick up items. I just use my mouse. Pretty self-explanatory. Corpse targeting when held A. You can change this or have it always enabled. Auto equip items is very good when you're picking up stuff going through the game, guys. It'll automatically equip items into your slots that you do not have already in there. Um, disable tutorials. I just have that off. Uh, default item location or allocation. Now, this is where we're going to get into doing solo and group play. So if you guys know anything about a um, item allocation, if you guys have played WoW or other games that allow party looting, this is kind of where it breaks down. So you're gonna have three options. Free for all means that if I was in a party with one, two other people, any loot that's dropped on the ground is available for anybody to pick up. Anybody can pick up the loot and that is fine. That includes myself. Or you have short allocation, which this is gonna kind of spread the loot out just a little bit right it's going to make some items not available for another party member some available for me and vice versa or you have permanent allocation which means that if you are in a party no matter what happens any loot that you see on the ground that is for you and the, your party members cannot pick that stuff up until you know they drop it or they make it available for you to pick up this is that's something that's going to come down in another video but permanent allocation is just what i use naturally while i'm playing and then if we get into a party and we're going to do a lot of magic find and where it's just a huge free for all and we end up see like in having this too for free free for all is like, yeah, it is a free for all. But in the end, we're just getting we're just doing that to pick up loot and we just allocate it later amongst our party members. So but if you are weary of that, and you want to make sure that you get your loot and there's no, well, hey, you know, I popped the map. So it's, you know, because it was my map that I popped and there was two div, I get both the div and I'm not sharing. So if you don't want to deal with anything like that, or if there's not an agreement among your party members, just do permanent allocation and you'll be fine. 
Now, another tip when it comes to um, party, um, being in a party for settings is default level downscaling. So what this means is that if it's enabled and you're playing with a low level party member, level downscaling will be applied to your character. Party members will have no experience penalty. If it's disabled, your character's level is not modified. Low level party members will have an experience penalty. Okay, so <clears throat> while not in a party, this option doesn't affect you. So that's why it's always disabled. Now, what, the, what does this mean? So this means that if it's enabled and I'm level 88 and I'm playing with a brand new character that let's say is level 20, level downscaling gives me no, party members will have no experience, but the level has been downscaled, right? If it's disabled, my level 88 character is still level 88 in theory, but the low level party members in the party will have an experience penalty because they're playing with a party member who's so much higher level than them. So if you're running somebody through the campaign and I'm a higher level, we just enable this. We just enable this so that way there's no experience penalty for the lower level player because I'm not going to get any experience really. I can. It's going to be very marginal in comparison to what they're getting. So I don't want their experience that they're gaining to be penalized by having it disabled just so I can have an effective 88 level. Instead, we just enable this and it's fine. They get the maximum XP, right? So I always keep this days disabled. Again, if you're playing solo, this does not matter. It only affects when you have party members. So with this, while this is disabled, your level is not modified, okay? So again, if you're trying to power level somebody, just make sure that this is enabled, right? Hit save. UI, language, all this stuff is pretty much standard, guys. You can go through and just center the map, auto center the map. You can change the transparency of the map in the map zoom, um, which is really cool. So you see the map up here. If I put it onto the center of the screen here and I go into settings, we go to UI, I can change the transparency of the map. You see how it's transparent now, it fills in. You can also make it go away, fill it up, or you can map zoom it, right? And just pull it up and it's crazy big. Um, that's really cool. Um, hide overlay mods so you can get rid of stuff that's on there. It's totally up to you. Um, and then visual sensitivity, incursion, ultimate effect. It's enabled. This is fine. Uh, your This controls the screen space blur effect. Um, I just leave this enabled. If you have any issues, just disable it. Screen shake should always be disabled. Um, socket knots. So all these knots on here that you can see, you can go default. You can go small nodes or you can just go large. I like the large pattern. It just looks cooler visually. Um, everything else is um, what I would encourage you to turn on is make sure you turn on show full descriptions and support gem utility pop up. Okay, so full description means you see everything in here, right? When I click on a gem, it shows absolutely everything and then we can all and see all the stuff. Now gameplay, show life mana, hide life, show flask. You can, I just have absolutely everything on. Mouse cursor, you can change between different colors and sizes. Large, small, medium, enable hover cursor, enable click cursor, super easy. Um, super cool. You don't have to, it's totally up to you. I just make it look like that. Um, all your chat, you just have this all on, it's fine. We can actually just turn the size down a little bit in the box height. That just changes when I'm talking here, just changes the height on that. <clears throat> Outside of that guys, sound, have it through channels. You change all your effective uh, sounds. This is just what I have. It just makes it super easy. I can hear absolutely everything. If you guys want to screenshot and copy that. And then inputs, if you guys want to change anything, you can. Um, that's why you can see like space bar is this. I also encourage you in your settings to be able to go in here and always attack without moving. When this is on, that means that whenever I attack, like I'm holding space bar to move, as you can see, but when I use tornado shot, it stops me to shoot, which is important. Otherwise you'd have to stop moving to fire. So make sure that that is always enabled on absolutely every skill that you need to use. All right, and then you can come in here and you could just, you know, you can just pick things that you want to change, whatever is most comfortable for you. And of course, notifications. I have this all enabled. So that way, even when I'm alt tabbed, like if I go into, if I alt tab out and I go in here and I look at, so that means like, in I, I always have that enabled. So that way, whenever I alt tab and I go in here and I'm like, oh, I'm in the POE trade, I'll get a notification sound that'll pop up. So that way I can go back in here and it's like, oh, someone wanted to buy something. Somebody wanted to trade with me. That way I don't miss that even when I'm alt tabbed out of the game. So guys, that is my um, settings and best game settings that I use for me. 
this is what works best for me again guys the two um big ones is default is the default item allocation as well as default level downscaling especially when you're in parties okay blue filter will be coming later but yeah guys those are the settings that i have for path of exile make sure to like the video comment down below let me know if there's any other settings that you use or something that i'm missing or maybe there's something that you really got from this video that i you know put in there that was really really cool let me know down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace